And I'm going to take a picture. All of you have your camera on. So I'm going to take this picture. Thank you. So welcome, welcome, everyone. My name I is Crystal Berry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jamisha, can you um, mute? Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> All right. Good evening again. My name is Ms. Crystal Berry. I'm your online medical billing and coding instructor. I am so glad you all have decided to join the Unitech family. This is the medical and billing, medical billing and coding program, which is a nine month program. You will have fun. So I'm going to answer a few questions first. First, I want to apologize. Um, I don't know what the confusion was this morning with the um, log in for Zoom with you all, but the other, our chairperson, Ms. Marsha, she said that she didn't even realize that they had people yeah. in the waiting room trying to log on. So I want to apologize, but we're here now. Yes, ma'am. So that is a good thing. We're going to go ahead and, you know, keep it moving. So first thing I want to talk to you all about is I was just going over. Attendance is important. Communication is key. We have to communicate. If you're having difficulty with understanding any information, if you're unable to complete an assignment, please feel free to text me, email me, or even give me a call. So my office hours, if you all want to write this down, you don't have to because remember this is being recorded. You can go back and review it. My office hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Fridays, it's 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I am available until 8 o'clock. After 8 o'clock, I will not accept any calls because I do understand that people work. So I am understanding. So please contact me up until 8 o'clock. I am off on weekends. Please do not text me on the weekends. That's Saturdays and Sundays. I'm off on holidays. Please do not text me. You can email. And then once that business day or once the weekend on Monday morning, I will review and I will respond to all emails. I do have 24 hours to respond, 24 to 48 hours to respond to all emails. I have three other classes. So you're not my only class that I am. I am teaching online. So please just be considerate, but I will answer calls up until 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. I'm off on weekends. I'm off on holidays. If you feel that it's an emergency, you can contact me. Emergencies does not state or say that you need an extension on your assignment. That is not an emergency. That is something that can be emailed to me and then I will follow up with you. If you are out, remember you have seven days before you receive a letter from administration about your um about to fail. So you have 14 days that you can go in attendance, but on that seventh day, you will receive a letter from administration informing you that you know you're on the verge of being dropped from the program if you continue to be absent. So remember, if you're gonna be absent, just send a text or an email because every you have a daily assignment that is due every night by 11.55 p.m. Every night you have a daily assignment. That's how we mark your attendance. So if you do not complete that attendance, that daily assignment by 11.55 p.m. every night, you will be marked absent. Your labs, your labs are not due until Sunday. So you have seven days to complete your labs, seven whole entire days to complete your labs. When exams are given, you have until that Sunday to complete an exam. So they have an exam coming up on Wednesday. You all are not responsible for that exam because you all are just starting. But on Wednesday, that exam is open on that night, but it will close on Sunday at 1156. So it's open until 11.55 p.m. on Sunday. The only time that exam will not be open until that Sunday is if it's the last day of the module. So you're coming in in like the middle of module 153. So this will be your Ferris wheel because you're going to have to circle back around to this module to complete and graduate. 
but say that you just starting in the last, I think we're going to be on like day 18, day 18 or 19. So you only have a few days left in this module, but starting in module 154, if you were to come in on that last day, if the exam is on that Thursday and the end of the module is that Friday, your exam will have to be complete by that Sunday as well, because we're starting a new module on that Monday. So you have to just make sure that's the only time that you won't have the complete until that Sunday to complete an exam. Also, every we're starting, we're about to go into a new program. We were in the Unitech portal. We are no longer in that Unitech portal. We're in the process of transitioning to a new program, which is called um, Moodle. Are any of you familiar with the program Moodle? So we're starting a new program that's going to be Moodle. So the reason why you're not going to see um, your um, e-books or all of that in certain programs is because we're transitioning to a new program. Right now, we're using um, Classroom, Google Classroom. Are any of you familiar with Google Classroom? So we're using Google Classroom right now. I'll be sending out that code to you for you all to log in. Google Classroom is a free program. You do not have to have Microsoft or anything to get that information. You just log in. You can download it on your phone. You can submit all of your assignments on your mobile phone or through the computer. So it shouldn't be any reason why I'm not receiving your assignments because you can do it from anywhere. Phone, you know, um, your email, anywhere. So it shouldn't be no excuse that I couldn't receive and wouldn't be able to receive your assignment. <clears throat> also, remember, with your labs, when you look in the platform, you're going to see it's going to be Google Classroom. When I stream all of the information, everybody can see what's in the stream. I'm always sending messages. I'm always sending YouTube videos for you to follow for extra assistance if you're not understanding what's going on. So you're always going to get communication through stream, through the streaming um, portal in Google Classroom until we transition over to um, Moodle. Also, I will be sending you all links for your books. Right now, it usually takes seven to 10 business days before you receive your manuals in the mail. So that's your coding manuals, your coding manuals, your CPT your hick picks and your ICD-10 manual. That's going to take, that takes between seven and 10 days. I will be sending you all the links so that you're still able to look up those codes using the link. So did you all, did Miss Franny Hoffman um, send you all your ebook codes yet? I haven't got mine yet. I no, my, my yet. Okay, so as soon as we're done with this presentation and you complete, you will not receive those ebook codes until you have turned in your ARA assignment. That ARA assignment I sent to some of you on Friday. I sent some out as well on Sunday. You have to complete that assignment. That is how you're going to be marked present for attendance. So if you have not sent out your assignment yet, and remember, you can just, if you're unable to copy and paste, you can send that, um, your answers, just number it and put your answers and send it to me in the email. The email that was sent to you all, my email and personal phone number is underneath that. So you can email me your answers. You can number it and just put the answers next to it. That has to be turned in by 11.55 p.m. tonight. Please try your best to get that email to me as soon as possible. And then once that happens, Miss Franny will be able to send you your ebooks codes for you to get your ebooks. Usually you'll have your ebooks no later than Tuesday evening. So be looking forward, looking forward to receiving that email from Miss Franny Hoffman. So your assignment, I'm not going to just put you straight into you know your work. Your assignment for tonight is to, if you have not already completed it, your ARA assignment, make sure you submit that to me as soon as possible and to complete your orientation. Have you all started the orientation that was sent to you all from Ms. Franny Hoffman? 
Yes. Yeah. Okay, so your assignment is to complete your orientation and have that submitted to um, the link that she provided for you, I think, back to her. Just make sure that you complete that. So you that's the assignment, and that's how you're going to be marked for attendance. The way you're going to be marked for attendance by me is submitting that ARA assignment. That's how you will be marked present. Also, I will be sending to you, I said, I'll be sending to you the Google Classroom link for you all to be able to go in. Your assignment, I will not provide or give you any assignments until Wednesday. So you have, tonight, you have to do your ARA assignment. You also need to work on your orientation and have your orientation and everything completed by Wednesday. So you have three days to complete your orientation, but you only have until tonight to complete that ARA assignment in order to be marked present for attendance. Also remember that every day, well, I didn't go over this with um, some of you who logged on. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have Zoom class. Zoom class on Tuesdays is for 7 p.m. It's the same link that I provided for you all for this Zoom class here, the Zoom onboarding is the link you will use for everything. On Thursdays, we have been doing combined classes. So on Thursdays, all of the instructors and all of the students who log on will be on Zoom. I'll be sending you that link it's a different link, but in that link, I'll have on there, it states combined class. So that means that all of the instructors for medical billing and coding, all of those classes, will all be on together. We have a lot of fun when we have the combined classes because a lot of times students, your classmates, you learn from each other. So we do practice, we do participation, we do scenarios, and you all collaborate together. And this is how you get your extra points. Tuesday, you get extra points for logging on. Every time you log on to a Zoom class, you receive extra points. Sometimes it might be five points. Sometimes it might be 10 points, depending on that activity. But remember, as an example, say you have a 65 on an exam and you had those five or 10 points of you were attending every Zoom class and you averaged your points out to 20 points. That'll bring that grade up to an 85 which now, you know, that have improved your grade from an F to a B. So just remember, and you all are responsible for keeping your points, the tally of your points. And whenever you want those points applied to an assignment, to an, a lab or to add to an exam, you just email me, text me and let me know, well, okay, I had an 80 on this um, assignment. Can you add 10 points from my grades? I'll mark that off. And then those 10 points will be added to either a daily assignment, a lab, or your exam. It's up to you where you want to put those and place those points. So remember, every time you log on to a Zoom class, which I take down names on who's here, even if you're at work, you still will get the points if you're logged on. And you know, you're listening, you can have your camera on, you know, turned off and you can be on mute, you still will receive those points because I know a lot of us do work, but that's why we have two separate times. Tuesdays is for 7 p.m. Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Every Thursday is 4 p.m. We hope and we would advocate for you to try and join both classes because remember, say that I say 10 points for tomorrow for seven o'clock. Then on Wednesday with that combined group, they decide to give to you. You have already earned 20 points to add to whatever and whichever assignment, lab, or exam you would like that added to. So just keep that in mind about how you can accumulate and get points to assist you if you're struggling or having an error or you feel that you didn't do as well as you might have wanted to, you can apply those points. Any questions, concerns? Nobody don't want to talk to me? No <laughs> questions? So y'all were texting me and trying to get on. Now nobody don't want to talk to me since you see me in the flesh now, huh? That's funny. 
<laughs> I want somebody to talk to me. Like, I mean, y'all must have some questions. So have you all completed your ARA assignments? I have. I have. I have, I have also. Okay. So any confusion about um, the expectations? So I'm going to ask a few questions and I might want to give some extra points to you all. So when, um, what are my office hours? 8 to 4 on Monday through Thursday. Eight to Thursday eight, and 8, eight, eight to 5 to four. on a Friday. On Friday. I thought it was 8 to 5 and Friday, 8 to 4. Yes. It's yeah. 8 to 5, Monday through Thursday, and 8 to, and eight four, to 4 on Friday. So um, when can you not text or call me? Weekends and holidays. Weekends. weekends and holidays. And, holidays. Right. and then on holidays, you all are going to be off as well. So I know when you have our holidays, y'all want to be off with no disturbance, right? Correct. Y'all don't want me calling y'all saying, um, I need my assignment. <laughs> so just remember on the weekends and holidays, I'm off, and I have 24 to 48 hours to return messages and responses. But I do try to respond, you know, doing um, if you text me something on Monday or Tuesday, I try to respond on that same day. Today I was in meetings all day, so I didn't get a chance to respond at that time. But usually I'm able to respond during that time between those hours. So what is the latest that I will accept calls? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yes. 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. I will accept calls. Like I said, I do understand that some of you work and that you might get off late and you might have a question. And remember, I do one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls and Zoom classes as well. So if you feel that you're not getting the information that you need when we have in our Zoom class and you would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session, please text or email me so that we can set up a date because I do have other students that I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with. So just be mindful, just to you know, keep me, stay in contact. That's how you're gonna learn. You have to ask questions, you have to communicate. I am not a mind reader, so I do not know and I will not know and even, like I said, I have some students who are not doing well on their exams. And this is what you have to understand. When you get into this career, you're going to have to learn how to communicate, ask questions. You know, you're going to have to learn how to, you know, um, get out of that little shy state. Because in medical billing and coding, it's a lot of reading. You're going to be reading patient charts. You're going to have to communicate with the nurse, the doctor, if something is not clear in that patient's chart. So it's very important that you learn how to communicate and how to you know, share. We have group assignments. I'm not gonna put you all in the group right now because you are new to the program, but for the next module, module 154 that we will be going in in the next week or so, I will be assigning you all to groups. And in the group assignments, it's very helpful because you're working together in a group, you're learning each other, you're learning differences, on, you know, they might be able to give you a little um, tip or something that I wasn't able to provide or none of the other instructors that might help you understand better. So just paying, you know, like I said, the groups are very, very important. And then when you submit your assignments, you know, you have to realize that as a group, because this will happen in the workplace, as a group, the group is graded. So you have to communicate within your group. And this is just gonna help you in your career is anyone already in medical building and coding and needed this certification to get like um, higher incentives or anything? Anybody in the medical profession? Yeah, I do medical billing, but I need the certification. You get an increase? Yeah. Yeah, see, it's very important because now before, you know, you didn't really need all of these certifications and everything. But now, right. now a lot of the jobs are requiring you have the certification. My profession, I'm a nurse practitioner, but my specialty is psychiatric mental health. So I'm doing, I've learned this as well. You know, I'm an instructor for medical billing and coding, but I also taught anatomy and physiology, pharmacology. I've taught all of this because my profession is a nurse practitioner. 
And then even in the field, I don't know if you all know, you know, with your parents, you all look so young, but back then you could be a nurse aide. You didn't need a certification. Now it's a CNE. You have to be certified in a lot of places to even be, a, you know, a nurse aide now. So everything they're requiring more. But remember, with those certifications, you can you can mimic and you can say you can express your salary demands. You know, you can require and acquire more because now you're certified. Also, remember, when you finish this program, you will have two certifications. You'll have medical office assistant and your national certification, billing and coding certification. So it's two. And you do not have to wait until the end of the course to take your medical office assistant certification. Those courses, that particular certification, you can take before you graduate. That is the only one that you can take before you graduate. When we get to that module, if you feel that you're ready and you feel that you can pass that certification exam, you can request to take that exam and get your certification as a medical office assistant. So keep all of that in mind. Make sure that you all stay in contact with career services. If you need employment now or you're looking for or, you know, a better atmosphere or a better job, contact career services they will assist you with your resume with trying to get in contact and trying to find some form of employment career services they have helped so many students who just wanted something part-time or some extra income with linking them and giving those resources to assist them with finding a job so use the resources that we have available get in contact like i said it's a close amount does not get fed so if we do not know what's going on or that you need employment or you need assistance, we cannot help. The only way we can help is through communication. Communication, you're going to hear that all the time. Communication is key. I cannot help you if I do not understand or do not know what's going on. If you need extensions on your assignment, text me or let me know. I give extensions all the time. You know, let me know, but don't make it a habit until like, you know, now, oh, you know, Miss Barry is giving out an extension. Oh, she's going to let me make this up. Not all the time, because on your job, if you're late too many times, what's going to happen? Get let go. Right. So this is your career that is a life changing career. I mean, if you all are looking on in the news, well, not really newspaper anymore, everything is Internet. <laughs> but if you're looking and logging on to um, Indeed, Monster, um, the job ad, you will see how in demand medical billing and coding is. Medical billing and coding is in high demand. So the opportunities are there, but you have to have the information, knowing how to find the information. There's so many different specialties you can go into. And the information we're providing is to assist you with your certification exam. Because once you get into that practice, Say you're going in for, you're in a um, hypertension clinic or a diabetic clinic. You're going to be coding code specific to that practice. And if it's something else that comes up saying it's something with the eyes or something, they're going to give you a referral. So I don't want anyone to be scared like, oh, once you get into it, oh, this is just too much. You're going to find that practice that you enjoy, you know, unless you're working in a hospital and you're billing inpatient or outpatient but the opportunities are there. The job opportunities are, they're there. So just keep in mind to keep an open mind, think positive about it. Do not give up. I will stay on you. I will be calling your phone, ringing your phone, texting you, trying to figure out what's going on because you have to communicate. So this is recorded. Do I have any questions now since I gave you a little more information? I have a question. I don't know if I missed out when my phone had uh, kind of messed up. Okay. But uh, how often do you have to be um, online? So it's up to you, but we do classes. We have Zoom classes twice a week, every okay. Tuesday for 7 p.m. and every Thursday for 4 p.m. Okay. So remember, when you do a 10, you get extra points. Okay. 
It's very important that you try to um, communicate because at the end, when we're giving out awards and we're giving out different things and we're giving gas cards or gift cards and things like that, we try to give those to the ones who participate. And participation is key. That's how you're going to learn a lot of information. It, all of your Zoom classes will be recorded and sent to you to review. Everything we do when we're online for Zoom classes is recorded. So you will always be able to go back and look at it. But sometimes it's not just the same with looking at it if you're not actively participating. So it's good to participate. That's why we have a class tomorrow. We have a Zoom class for 7 p.m. And I, I said, the Zoom classes are always this link that I provided, except on Thursdays, I'll email you a different link because it depends on the instructor that's doing the class for that Thursday. They'll send out their link and then I would forward that to you all. So once we get off, I'll be sending you within the next 30 minutes, I'll be sending you your Google Classroom login. And then on that Google Classroom login, once you all log in, I will see your name in the Google Classroom. So if you're, if I do not see your name, that means you did not log in. So remember, your assignment for tonight, if you have not already done so, is to complete that ARA assignment. You will not be expected to submit any assignments until Wednesday night. Wednesday night will be your first assignment that will be due. Wednesday night. So today by 11.55 is your ARA assignment that I emailed to all of you. Also to work on your orientation packet, that information you have until Wednesday to submit and have that completed, your orientation. And then also on Wednesday night, you will have your daily assignment that's due to me by 11.55 p.m. So you really have one day to complete that assignment that's due to me, that ARA, but you have really these three days to submit your orientation. And then you have that daily assignment on Wednesday. So I want you all to not look at any of those other assignments. So what you can do if you want to, you can go through once you get your eBooks and you get that code, but you won't receive those eBook codes until you submit the assignment. So once I get that by the end of the day, I'm going to forward that information to Miss Franny, giving her the names of everybody who completed the ARA assignment. And then she will start, which she's off now at five o'clock. But tomorrow she will start sending you out the ebook codes for you to go and be able to access your books. I'll also be sending you out, I'm not going to confuse you all. I'll be sending you all links to the coding websites so that you're able, when, we, when you all start class, you're able to find those codes. But remember, tomorrow, if you all can, I would like to you like you all to join our 7 p.m. class so that you can meet your other classmates. So it will be very, very important if you can. It's 7 p.m. tomorrow with the link that you're using right now, which I'm going to send out again. Tomorrow is the Zoom class for 7 p.m. Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Every Thursday. 4 p.m. Any other questions? Let me make sure I have everyone on here. Let's see. All right. So no other questions. This will end our Zoom orientation. No one has any questions. But you don't have to ask, ask me now. If something comes up, feel free to give me a call. Feel free to text me. If something comes up, that's fine. And then just give me a call. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. I will be emailing this link. Once it converts, I will be emailing this link to you. Enjoy your day. And hopefully I will see you all tomorrow for 7 p.m. Thank you. Have a safe and productive evening. Bye-bye. You too, Laura. Thank you.